So I had a patient who had pulmonary arterial hypertension. And patients who have pulmonary arterial hypertension can't tolerate delivery and pregnancy. In my patient, even though we had warned her against getting pregnant, she actually actively became pregnant. She also had a seven-year-old at home. And in discuss discussing her life and the fetus's life and the life that she had to care for because she was a single mother, our recommendation was not to carry the pregnancy to term because there was high likelihood that she would die during pregnancy. And she didn't want to take the advice. We tried for several months of talking to her. And I wanted to ensure that she really understood the consequences of her decision. So I enrolled other caregivers who were also involved in her care to make sure that we actually approached every angle for her to make the most informed consent she could. And it was quite difficult, uh, especially because my daughter was of the same age. So every day I was reminded that her seven-year-old daughter would not have a mother if she continued on with this process. So in the end, she chose not to um, terminate the pregnancy. And fortunately for her and her life, um, the pregnancy terminated uh, spontaneously during her um, second trimester and she continues to live today. So I think at that point was a very difficult decision initially. A um, lot of discussions that happened around that consent uh, process and the outcomes were favorable to her life, but it was a time where I wished the patient had taken my advice early on.